Well, tonight, a Northwest Valley woman is speaking out for the first time after she tells us she and her two year old daughter were attacked by a neighbor armed with an ax. Thankfully, the two were able to escape to safety, and now we're learning all of it could have been prevented. Alyssa Bethencourt has that story tonight. This is the neighborhood where the attack happened. The victim was loading her car in front of her home when her neighbor stepped outside and started smashing her car with an ax. Her two year old daughter in the front seat watching it all unfold. A terrifying attack caught on camera. This is the moment Holly Dunn hid inside her home with her two year old daughter to escape her attackers line of sight. I Outside, her neighbor, 33-year-old Christopher Vera, armed with an axe, began smashing her car from every angle. And I just like look up through the window and I see someone open the door holding something and I, when I look up, I see it's an axe and I'm terrified. It was early afternoon on March 13th. Holly had just finished moving furniture into her new home and was getting ready to leave the property when Vera stepped outside and started swinging. Her daughter was sitting in the car watching everything unfold. I would never want her in danger. I didn't care about anything else. I just wanted to be away from him, somewhere safe, and my first instinct was to just run. Once inside, Holly called Metro Police. On scene, officers told her they believe Vera was likely on drugs and possibly experiencing a psychotic episode. Vera's relatives arrived shortly after and told Holly he was recently diagnosed with a mental illness. Holly and her toddler were not injured. I don't think it's an excuse like he could have killed us. I'm just thankful that we're still here today. Um, but I do think he does deserve help. Dr. Sid Karana explains what could cause a person with a mental illness what to do this. It is possible that with a new neighbor, this person who has a psychotic condition, who might already be at the verge of tipping into a psychotic state, could be thinking this new person, this new neighbor, is somebody that somebody has plotted close to me to get me. He explains people living with mental illness could hear voices and see images that cause paranoia. I just hope that he gets the help that he needs um, because no one deserves to go through that. It was terrifying. Reporting in Northwest Las Vegas, I'm Melissa Bethencourt. And court records show Vera is facing charges of burglary of a motor vehicle, child abuse, damaging a vehicle, and assault with a deadly weapon. He's scheduled to make an appearance in competency court next week on April 14th. His bail was set at $24,000.